Well, as you've probably already heard by now, Fox News hired Kaylee McEnany as a contributor yesterday, making the next move for the former White House press secretary. McEnany made a name for herself during the Trump administration as a fierce, very well-prepared messenger, hated by the press and lauded by Republicans. Looking back after these past few weeks with Circle Back Pisaki, Kaylee should be given some type of a reward or medal or something. The difference is like going from debating Ben Shapiro to, well, debating Joe Biden. Anyways, the rot at Fox News runs deep, as we're all finding out, especially on the news side of things, which of course includes Chris Wallace seated at the very tip top. Shortly after McEnany was hired, insiders ran to the Daily Beast to trash the move. Curtis Houck tweeted out, The Daily Beast is made up of genuinely horrible people. The people inside Fox News that leaked this vile bile against Kaylee McEnany are cowards, pure and simple. That was a dead-on tweet. I couldn't have said it any better myself. Let's start with the fact that the Daily Beast is an absolute garbage outlet. If it existed in print form, it wouldn't be fit to line a birdcage with. You see, the dishonesty and viciousness with which they go after people they disagree with is nearly unmatched. This includes multiple instances of doxing conservative writers and editors in an attempt to harm their prospects. So it is with great hesitation that I even attempt to quote these morons, but I will right after this quick commercial break. After that winter wake-up call and the breakdown of the power grid, nobody can deny we're all quite vulnerable. We saw power grid failures, and severe weather made the food supply chain come to a grinding halt in many parts of the country. And whenever that happens, people suffer. That's why it's smart and fairly easy these days to prepare in advance for those disasters by stocking up on long-term storage emergency food. Food that stays fresh for up to 25 years, so you never go hungry. I strongly recommend my Patriot Supply, America's leader in self-reliance. They're the only source I use for emergency food planning. And now you can save $50 off a four-week supply of delicious meals that give you 2,000 plus calories a day. That's what you'll need to survive the next disaster. And saving $50 is impossible to pass up, but supplies are limited. So go to preparewithresurgence.com and stock up now. That's preparewithresurgence.com. Or hit that link in the description box and enjoy the peace of mind that comes with being prepared today. So the Daily Beast wrote, quote, the addition of a new and frequent liar to the Fox News roster set off some alarms within a newsroom that has been, quote, purged in recent months in favor of right-wing opinion programming and content geared towards keeping a die-hard MAGA audience satisfied. Quote, it's truly disgusting. They fired hard-working journalists who did care about facts and news reporting only to turn around and hire a mini Goebbels whose incessant lies from the White House helped incite an insurrection on our democracy that got five people killed, including a police officer, a Fox News insider raged to the Daily Beast. Quote, post-Trump Fox is quickly becoming a very scary place and quite dangerous for our democracy. It's not even conservative news anymore. They've plunged into an alternative reality where extremist propaganda is the only course on the menu. Okay, so reality is that the newsroom at Fox News has seen purges the last few months because they weren't producing results, and some refused to stop pushing left-wing narratives that, in reality, were pure editorializing. At the end of the day, cable news is a business, and if liberal virtue signaling isn't selling, a change has to be made. Chris Wallace may very well have been untouchable because of his tenure, but there are a lot of others who weren't, and for good reason. Of course, instead of having any introspection, these disgusting cowards run to a rival outlet in the Daily Beast, one which routinely trashes Fox News, to dish dirt on Kaylee McEnany. If you're going to make these kinds of unsubstantiated claims, you should be brave enough to put your name behind them. Furthermore, if you believe Fox News is becoming a danger to democracy, then stop taking a paycheck and leave. I have zero tolerance for people that show this kind of disloyalty while hiding behind the veil of anonymity, and these gutless tabloid writers that have no respect for their profession printing these anonymous claims just to stir up leftist tribalism should be ashamed and shunned from reporting as well. Kaylee McEnany speaking as an opinion contributor is not the problem here. 
rather a newsroom full of people trying to mimic low IQ CNN fake news with every bit of the beaten housewife emotion we've grown accustomed to seeing in Rachel Maddow, Russia, Russia, Russia fits. Those folks are the real problems. The big wigs over at Fox News need to come to terms with that and put the quick on their purge because if these people aren't gone, then their audience is never going to fully return. Not that they even will then. I mean never that I can remember. Have I seen an entire news channel abandon pretty much their whole audience, especially to poo-poo such an obvious history-changing theft as we witnessed last November? Let's just hope as time goes by, Kaylee and other like-minded contributors figure out just who these folks are and get an opportunity on air to settle the score. I love circle back Jen Psaki to come back on this program. Do you think you were treated as the way she is treated or were you treated differently? Well, I think it's obvious to anyone who has watched the press briefings, it was an entirely different treatment by the press. I mean, for one, she was asked what Joe Biden thought of the Antifa riots. And, you know, her answer was that she hadn't spoken to him. If I would have given an answer like that, it would have been unacceptable. The headlines would have been egregious and appalling afterward. Look, I respect her for saying that she would be willing to go on Fox. She has been on Fox and networks that will challenge her as they should. But you know what? I guess my question is, Where's Joe? It's been 41 days. Uh, at this point, President Trump had had multiple press appearances, press conference. President Barack Obama had as well. Uh, Joe Biden needs to step up. We need to hear from him. Uh, he needs to engage in the transparency that he promised us. He hasn't thus far. Okay. Now, she went on Fox News Sunday. That's on the Fox Broadcast Network. Um, if she really wants a diversity of views, now, I'll make two offers to her. She can come on with me one-on-one. -on -one. Love to have her. Or I will let her debate you or discuss the issues uh, of the day. But uh, I guess she'll circle back with me on that? Or what do you think? Hey, I would love to see uh, you interview the press secretary, Sean. Well, you would have too. some hard-hitting questions that, man, conservatives would want to hear from. Uh, number one, why is it that under President Donald Trump, they talk about cages that were falsely attributed to him uh, in the immigration context that indeed were put in place by President Barack Obama? And then, of course, now we know these immigration facilities are opened, uh, but there's no criticism there. We've seen Peter Ducey ask questions about this, but I would love to see uh, mano a mano, uh, Sean Hannity and the press secretary. That would be a lot of fun to watch. Well, I'd like to get an answer. Tara Reid and a woman by the name of Ms. Flores accused Joe Biden in this recent campaign of inappropriate behavior. Uh, we've seen a lot of creepy videos of Joe sniffing hair and, and touching and in people's face, and it was frankly bizarre. Most of this came by way of redstate.com. If you liked it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment down below. There's a PayPal link in the description box, so please put a dollar in the bucket on the way out the door. I'd like to thank everybody for all your donations. They're much needed and much appreciated. Now, with all that being said, we'll see you next time. Come on, move. Move. Easy. Easy. Ah!